Hey guys, it's your girl Tree. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. And we're gonna jump right into this video. So I'm using the In Hype 005, which is a milky white, and I'm going to be applying that on my thumb and my ring finger. Oh, and I also started this video off with my nails already with the base coat. So I applied three coats of this and cured them both for um, 60 seconds. I did three because um, two wasn't enough. It didn't give me, like it was too opaque. Like I needed it to show up a little more white. So that's why I did three. Now I'm using the Born Pretty Jelly Polish in the shade Cage Bird and this came in like a set of six. And y'all these are so pretty like they're all jelly nude light colors and I'm going to apply those colors, well that color, on my index, my ring finger and my pinky. And I also applied two coats curing for 60 seconds. Now I'm taking the Beatles More Than Muse collection in the shades 812 and 814 and they are a lighter blue and a darker blue and I'm going to take my palette and scoop some out of the bottle just so I can have some ready on hand for when I start to do my cap print. The tool I'm using is the biggest dot-in tool that came out of this set of five from Amazon. I'm not sure the diameter of the um, ball on the end, but it did the trick. So basically with cow print, what you do is make your print like oblong. It's not supposed to be a perfect circle or even a circle at that anyway because cow print is not perfect. It's not secular. It's very irregular. So um, just think of like if you spill something like some water or any type of liquid when it falls and hits the contact point, you know, it's kind of spreads out. So that can be a good reference for um, anybody who's not understanding <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm trying to make it as less complicated as it's probably sounding right now because it's very not complicated it's not hard at all it's super super easy Now for the lighter blue, I used the same technique I did with the darker blue. I just placed them randomly on top of the um, spots that were already there just to give it a little contrast and to make it me because it wouldn't be me if I didn't make it extra. <laughs>
Now I'm using the Beatles 20 millimeter liner brush to draw a little accent line on my, what it is, my pointy finger and my pinky finger. And y'all, this took a long time and <laughs> I tried to stay as in frame as I could. So it's gonna be a lot of jump cuts like right there. And I had to, at one point, pull my hand out from in front of the camera and put it like dead in front of my face <laughs> so I can see what I was doing. But yeah, you, you get what's going on. And um, I'm just um cleaning up with some alcohol on, this brush came with something that I ordered from Amazon, so I can't really say, but any brush will do. Now for bling, cause you know your girl loves the bling. I'm using my Pimpe Rhinestone Glue Gel, and I'm gonna put some top coat over top of that and start applying my rhinestones and cure for 60 seconds yeah cure for 60 seconds and then i'm using that same top coat to put over all of my fingernails and we're gonna go in the lamp for another 60 seconds Okay, we out of the lamp, honey, and we're gonna go into this cuticle oil and rub it in on them cuticles, and voila, this is the final product. I hope you guys like this video and you learned something, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!